Hi guys, welcome back to the Thornton 100 Motorcycles YouTube channel. My name's Jody, and today we're starting a very cool project. So behind me, you have a brand spanking new Triumph 1200 XC Scrambler, which is the lower model, because we've got a very interesting bike to be building. So not only do we have to build a very usable classic style Scrambler, it has to have a seat height of around 750 mil, which is a 90 millimeter decrease from the factory 840 millimeter seat height these come with. So the way that we're gonna be doing that is we're gonna be putting smaller wheels on, we're gonna be adjusting the suspension, lowering the rear springs, making a custom seat for it, and hopefully narrowing everything down. So when our customer rides, off-road in the UK green lanes, then he can be sure that he can flat foot on the ground and have a confidence inspiring ride. So we've also got to make sure that this bike looks like a classic style scrambler and all of the proportions are correct to have that really low seat height as well. So we've got lots to be doing. So we're going to crack on with that now. Okay guys, so in what is the madness that is the Thornton 100 January with us moving workshops, a WFB build. We've got loads and loads and loads of stuff going on in the background too. Me and Evan have just managed to find time to squeeze in some work on this 1200 XC Scrambler. So what we've done is we've changed out the springs, it's slightly softer so it allows it to sag. So what we've also done is soften the shocks all the way off. We've dropped the forks through around 15 mil. So we're actually machining the hubs right now. What we're gonna have is a custom billet rear hub and then a 17 inch rim but what we're going to have is a 180 55 profile tire so it's going to sit actually a little bit lower than this so that's going to bring the back down and then what we're actually going to have is a 17 inch front wheel instead of this 21 inch so what we've done now is just strap the forks down to emulate that 17 inch front wheel but if you can imagine this as it looks right now the mud guard is a bit weird, it's kind of pointing here, but if you imagine it with a 17 inch wheel, that mud guard actually doesn't look too wrong. What we don't want to do is compromise the suspension on this bike, because it is still going to be doing a lot of green lane and we're going to need to make sure that this bike can still soak up all of those big bumps. So what we've got to do now is get the mud guard in, which I'll show you in a bit, because that's actually really cool what we're going to do with that. Um, and then we're going to create the carbon seat base. What we're also going to do is get the tank off after the seat is made, and we're actually going to strip off all of the paint from this. We're going to go with a raw finish. So I think it's going to look really cool. I'm glad we've kept all of the silver components on this. We usually make them all black and it's going to make this bike look very classic actually, which is what the guy is aiming for. Very lightweight, classic, usable Scrambler 1200XC. And I think we've smashed it so far, yeah. So next up, making the seat and I'll show you what we've done with this mudguard.
Okay, so the bike is back on its wheels now. As you can see, it's sitting super low. I'm really happy with the height that this is at, at the moment. And we're also gonna go a little bit lower when we get that smaller front wheel on too. So we're gonna have the seat go off now to bikey motorcycle seat. So we've got to take the whole bike, get this foam custom made so it runs up and butts up against the tank really nicely there. Very much looking forward to seeing this seat finish and also getting this bike back onto the ramp, wheels out and getting those new custom 400 wheels in. Right guys, so we've got some paint back from the painters. Now, what we've done with this one is a little bit different and I've actually never done this before and I've seen it done. So what we have is the tank which we've brushed and lacquered, but the thing that we haven't done before is this. Now this is actually paint. This is a brushed finish on the paint. So what we've done is a special process with the undercoat and the primer got it to the texture that we need it to and then laid our base coat and our top coat on top and this has yielded some incredible results. So I'm very much looking forward to getting this onto the bike. So what we need to do is just pull off all of the masking, stuff like that. We've got to get fuel pump in the bottom of it, all of the ancillaries and hardware that go on this to bolt it all up onto the bike. So we're going to get that done now, chuck it on and they'll be ready for polishing and coating. This video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. We're all about men's health here at Thornton 100 with me being an ambassador for DGR, Distinguished Gentleman's Ride 2022. They've sent me their perfect package 4.0 so you can have a little look around, see what it's like, check out their kit. This is their fourth generation advanced skin safe tr technology trimmer. It comes with a wireless charger, which is this bit. If you know what it's like on a bike ride, I've actually used this stuff before. This is ball deodorant and it works really good on a hot, sweaty ride. Also, that as well, I've used this before as well. Ball toner. Honestly, guys, it's so good. Definitely get involved. I've also sent the weed whacker, which I also use because when I'm on camera, you don't want to see a forest up there. So again, similar sort of thing. <laughs> works pretty good, you can hear it. Awesome bit of kit. This has also got 90 minutes of charge time as well, so you're also constantly not just chucking it on the charger. And it's also got this little LED light as well, so you can see when you're trimming. So I'm definitely gonna be using that later. Get rid of my neck beard, so I'm not looking too homeless. So thank you very much for Manscaped for sponsoring this video. So you guys can get involved with Manscaped too. You can get 20% off two free gifts from Manscaped, as well as free shipping when you enter code Thornton when you're checking out. So check out Manscaped guys and thank you very much Manscaped. So let's get into this video. Okay guys, so as you can see, like in a lot of our YouTube videos, recently we've had a change of scenery. So we're in our brand new workshop and we've got loads of projects on the go. So loads of bits have changed. We're actually waiting for the smaller wheels to arrive as well. So we'll get them in a couple of days and we'll give you another update then. What me and Evan been working on is the number plate mount on the back of this one. So a lot of our customers will go for like this axle block here, a side mount number plate or a wraparound number plate. But Evan and myself are working on this number plate mount, which is actually up under here. There's a few ways that we're gonna be able to do this. Now, obviously we've modified this mud guard, we've wheeled it, made it really smooth, filled it and painted it. Now we've got four mounts up underneath here 
and we have basically attached four stainless steel M6 bosses that we produce. And then what we're gonna do is gonna use this eight millimeter stainless rod and we're gonna use this to bend it up and round and build a sort of a trellis, sort of Ducati style framework for the number plate to sit on. And I think that's gonna look really cool. We can make this into a really nice sort of art piece. I think it'll be really strong. Last thing we want is a customer having a number plate that snaps off or any issues with it as well. So we need to watch out for clearance on the wheel to make sure it, when it's fully compressed, we don't have any clearance issues and we're not catching it. And we also need to address this big gap underneath here, which we'll do with the 3D print, which is easily done. So fair amount to be getting on with. I'm gonna crack on fabricating this with Evan and then we've got to move on to the light pods and then this bike is well on its way to being finished. Okay, so we've just rolled this Scrambler 1200 XC off the ramp and I'm very happy with what it looks like on the floor. Now, we get a real view here of what the proportions are like on this bike and it looks absolutely fantastic. It really does capture that classic look, but with a very modern twist and obviously brand spanking new bike. So it's got modern running gear too. So we managed to develop the radiator guard on this bike too. So that will be on our web shop right now. So click the link in the bio below and you'll be able to buy this rad guard as well. So just about to roll it outside in the sun. I can't wait to see that brush paintwork pop in as well. Let us know what you think of the bike in the comments below. Okay guys, so that's this Scrambler 1200 video done and dusted. I've really enjoyed this build and it came out so well. So this bike's being delivered in a couple of days now and I hope the customer likes it, I'm sure he will. If you like this Scrambler content guys, click the link coming up in this video and there's loads more Scrambler stuff coming as well as some Scrambler stuff in the future and rumors of a supercharged Scrambler 1200 coming up too. So thank you for watching guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button and catch you next time. <laughs> Pretty good, you can hear it. Love that.